Good morning, everyone, and happy, happy Mother's Day. Oh, just let me check. Yes, okay. Sorry, just checking that my phone was around the right way. Um, happy Mother's Day to you all. I'm doing my video very early um, because we'll be going out a little bit later, so I need to get my video done. Otherwise, I might not do it later in the afternoon. Um, and it's day 34 of the 100 day project and um, this was this suggestion came from Deborah and her suggestion was or inspiration was inspired by a 100 year old piece or book sheet of music number 100 used or 100th page in a book um, so obviously the majority of books that I have are sort of just you know they're script and we use them all the time. So I ha I was sort of umming and ahhing this morning about what to do. And I thought, I've got some Somerset Studio magazines. I pulled out the first one and I turned it to page 100. And this is what I got. And I thought, what fun. So I'm going to make this little um, pouch. Hopefully I've got everything that I need here. I, ha I didn't actually gather everything. And I'm going to make a fabric tag to go on it and I haven't decided whether I'll hand stitch or machine stitch I might machine stitch we'll just see how long it all takes um I just wanted to show you quickly what I did yesterday I always do a little when I come in to tidy up I do stuff I can't help myself so I had made um this um I did end up working on that one I collaged around it so it was less busy and I made it into a tag so I can put that one away and then I couldn't help myself I had all these glue book pages and I just went ahead and collaged them all and I just wanted to show you how they turned out because I really like them. And I did put a few little stamp bits here and there. And I just wanted to use up some scraps. So they'll get, um, they'll be cut up probably. I mean, they'd be nice journal covers too. Little mini journals. So I don't know. I have to decide what to do with those. But I just thought I'd show you um, what I did with them. Okay, so, oh, I've got a bit of fabric here. Put that over there. Um, okay. Right, so let's get on with this job. Um, maybe first, now first we'll make the tag and then we'll make the pouch. Now, I think I haven't even read the instructions. I literally just opened it to page 100. And this is what was here. And it's this issue of the Somerset Studio. Um, I don't know. Oh, February. Oh, February, March, April 2020. So that's what I opened up. Okay, so I haven't even read, uh, um, I think I might have said that, I haven't read the instructions. I just had this piece of um, antique hemp sitting on my table and I just grabbed this piece of fabric um, here and I think I'm going to put that down the centre and that's going to be my backing. It's just a piece of cotton, put that one away. And I thought I might decorate it also with um, that piece of this. Like that, I thought. It'll be pretty. Be very beige, but, you know, we like beige. Well, I like beige. So, I think I'll stitch that on. I'm just trying to think um, how I want to stitch it on. I need to grab a pin. Um... I think I'll machine, I'll machine stitch it on. Yes, I think I will. So I'll move the magazine, put the magazine on my garbage bin. And I don't want to read the instructions because I want to do my interpretation of it. I'm going to do zigzag um, and about, no, I'm going to do straight stitch. And it's about um, size two and a half, the, the stitch. I might go around a couple of times. So if you don't like the sewing machine, you can fast forward or turn the volume down. Um, fabric, the one that I'm stitching on. Okay. Right, 
right so that's I mean it's quite plain but then I'm going to put this over the top here so I need to I'm just going to cut that across there and then I'm going to trim this off and I can use all of these pieces in other things like so See, just eyeballing it. it doesn't have to be perfect so that's going to go there it's not exactly centered and I'm going to stitch that on Let's just trim this off a little bit. Hmm. Got an itchy ankle. I might have been bitten by a mozzie. Okay. And then, so, or I can back it onto there, or I could even back it onto like some paper so it would be writable. Now, where are my buttons? like to stitch on some buttons yeah. there they are Just see, do I want any lace? Or do I want any of this, maybe? Let me find my other scissors. I think they're in the other room. Oh no, there they are. They fell down behind my box. like that or I could have it up there no down here I think I like it So I'll just stitch that fabric on. Give it a splash of colour. And then I'm going to, I've got some thread here. I've always got thread. Some embroidery floss here. This is just a perle cotton. And I'm just going to grab a needle. Thankfully, thankfully that idea came to me because I wasn't quite sure. 
what I was going to do. Okay, and I want to stitch my button on there. Oh, I'm just thinking I might have to put change my presser foot to my um, zipper one because this might get in the way. We'll see. Okay, so I'm thinking I've got this, I guess so I've got this recycled paper here that could be nice, or you could use like, um, I like this recycled paper, I'm thinking that might be nice on the back, um, because you could right on there um and it was gifted to me i and uh, this handmade paper i think it is um it was gifted to me so um i think i might use that and um so because it's nice and stiff but you could use tea dyed um cardstock as well or craft cardstock on the back and um and then you can use it to write and so i just need to look at the project and see the topper so the topper's got just got some some trim and I was thinking I might even put an eyelet in there on there and um, and we'll put a little little tag on there or something so I need to think what kind of trim do I want maybe I'll have some lace here's some lace here what's this lace let's put some lace at the top Trim it at an angle. It's very pretty lace. I'd forgotten about that one. Put that at the top. I'll just stitch that on. Just so it doesn't move about. Now I am going to put a little bit of glue, or maybe I'll put the glue here on my paper. And I'm just going to cut it out and then stitch around it. I'm very happy to use this um, this recycled paper, more well, handmade paper. Again, I get it wrong. So that I'm just going to stitch around that now, and the tag is nearly done. And I'm hoping I'll be able to get past my button because I didn't think about that.
So I went round it twice for good measure. And so at the front, it looks like a fabric tag. But at the back, it's stiff. It's really stiff and you can write on there. A little bit bumpy there where the, where the um, button is, but all the rest of it you could write on. So I like that. And then, well, maybe where the button is, where's that piece? One of these pieces, maybe I could, maybe not. I could stick that there. Because you wouldn't write there anyway. Okay, anyway, let's, um, oh, I know, I wanted to, um, I'll do that afterwards. Hopefully I don't forget. I'm going to put a little eyelet in there, just a minute. So now I need here, let me see if I've got the right one here. I hope so. This is what I want. These are those, um, they, they, they are the plastic sleeves. Um, because I think in this um, project, I haven't read it, as I said, I think they used um, they used packaging, um, you know, like uh, cereal, cereal plastic, that sort of plastic. But I'm going to use this, and actually this one is near, pretty much the right size. I need to trim it, that, trim it down just a little bit, and I'll just cover it. Let me just... Now, I don't like working with this stuff because it's slippery, but I'm going to put my hand here and I'm just going to cut along about there. I'll leave it a bit wider than what I need. I'm just following the line on my mat. Okay, and I'll stitch down the sides, you see. And then I've got another one here that I can make another tag. Okay, and I want to open this. I'm going to trim it down that side because I'll stitch around it. But I need to open it because you'll see what I'm going to do. Okay, so it opens like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, I'm going to cover across the top here. So... Do I want some of this? I'll cut some of this off. I just put a little bit of glue just to hold it. Do this one down here. Just grabbing a few. Oh no, that's cotton. I don't want cotton. Just grabbing a few. Here we go. Here's some. It's not the same hemp as the base of the. Um, Yes, Lulu. Um, I think it's ten past nine. That one there. Maybe I'll have a piece of this there. And then a little piece of lace. Hmm. Let's put some glue on this. I might have this nice lace, I think. Just 
this tiny bit of glue just to sort of hold it there. Okay, now I'm going to stitch backwards and forwards a few times. It's quite a quick project. So you see why you want your bag open. have a sewing machine you just have to use um, like PVA glue would probably do it okay Just have to stitch down the sides. Um, just thinking a second, okay. My stitches a bit bigger. And I think I, I might be too deep, just a minute. I might just stitch across here as well and trim it down. going to actually stitch around it again just for good measure so I've trimmed it down a little bit that's our bag hopefully it fits can you imagine probably doesn't fit yes it does oh yay oh I like that so that's going to slide in the little bag you see Could be a nice little gift for someone um, and I did want to I don't know whether I'll put an eyelet or um, I forgot And I 
think I'd like to make a little taggy taggy thingy. So let me just see what I've got here. I want, just want this. I'm just going to put a little hole. Okay. And then I'm going to round my, just going to round my corners with the scissors. go there and we might even have this or this oh no that's not going to tear <laughs> That doesn't want to tear either. Okay, well then I'll just have to, maybe I'll just cut a strip. And I'm going to stamp just a minute. Let me grab my. Okay, these. Oh. Oh, there it is. I want to do. I need the in. no dot. Maybe I have to do it with this one. Yes, I'll do it with that one. It doesn't work very well, this one. It's working today. Mummy. Yes, Lily. My blind hasn't been going up more than halfway. Oh, okay. I'll have to have a look at it. Even yesterday it happened. Okay, so let me get I this one. It. I just There's that. I need to get this one to... There we go. Got it. Okay. And what colour? I think brown. <laughs> Actually, I can, what am I doing? I can put the 100 here. Zero. 
going to put number 100 there. There you go. We'll do a test. Okay, so it's a bit dirty. Just get the ink on here and just, I've got to clean off there because it, it does dirty the thing. Yeah, number 100. Okay, put those back in. I didn't use those. And I've got these. Now, where did my thing go? I want those in front or behind? I think I want them behind. Okay, so first I've got to put this on. And then I can slide it through there. I like that. It's like a little sample sort of thing and then that and you can write on the back I didn't put anything on the back and it's going to slide in there there you go cute you could slip that in a pocket in a journal it's not too bulky I think that's really cute fun idea so that came from um, and I'm only going to do a quick video today because um, I have to go and do other stuff before we go out. Um, Somerset Studio, uh, February, March, April, page 100. So that's my interpretation of page 100. So I made the little bag, like that one. And then, um, what a fast project too. And then that's the tag with the re um, handmade paper at the back. And it's a nice fabric tag. And you could hand stitch it. Might make some hand stitched ones too. What a lot of fun. And I do like the little garment pin there with the little samples on there. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. So I hope you enjoyed that. It was a very fast video. But, um, yep, as I said, we have it's Happy Mother's Day today. So I'm only doing a quick one today. And... Um, I will see you again tomorrow. So thank you for watching. Bye.